is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that sounds good to me. So that being said, what I'm curious to hear from you guys and gals, alright, is what is going, uh, what would you really like to see? What would you like to see in regards to a marathon that's going to bring in viewers and motivate people to contribute. What what would it be? Would it be a marathon where I do fighting games? Would it be a marathon where I play Dark Souls in a special way, maybe a challenge run? Would it be playing a brand new game I've never played before, trying to beat it within that set time frame? Would it be a marathon of, I don't know, platforms, Banjo-Tooie, or maybe the Sonic the Hedgehog games in a marathon setting? You know, what would it be that would really entertain people and bring people in to watch me play stuff in an extended period of time and also motivate them to contribute to help me out with my, uh, <clears throat> you know, my issue. <clears throat> so, that's what I need to know. What is your opinion? What, you know, what would happen? Okay? Let me know. You guys, you know, it's up to you. It's going to be you guys who are going to be motivating and, and coming in and going to want to see, bring people in to watch this thing, right? What kind of thing would you guys like to see? I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Uh, I need that money to pay my bills. And right now, I need money to pay bills. Oh my god, every $10 or a thousand bits I take a shot, says stinking Burroughs, I'll be, I, I would die. And, yeah, we all know what happened the last time I drank on a stream, I don't think that's gonna happen anymore, I'm just saying. You know, there's too much shit behind the scenes going on that stresses me out, and then when I drink, it just, it, it, it makes the, the stress worse. And I'm not gonna have that happen again like it happened on the Christmas event, um, on stream again, okay? Wow. A dollar to from Piggy Smalls, who said that, it says that they've been banned because their name had Piggy in, in, the, in the name and they don't understand why. Um, even if you are a troll and you were intending to insult me with the word Piggy. <gasps> oh my God! Which I don't even understand because it's not like I'm a, a giant fat guy or whatever. I'm not. Chronic liar. I'm not morbidly obese. I'm morbidly obese. People who are very overweight, who are unhealthy, who can't get around. And they need to make a change and maybe they've tried diet changes maybe they've tried to work exercise and they just either can't get it to work or can't discipline themselves to the point where they can make it be effective i'm not overweight i mean all right let me put that back i am overweight but i'm not grossly morbidly obese but if you were trying to insult me with that name you have not done anything wrong in the stream chat therefore i've unbanned you this shocks me and just you know watch it obviously don't do anything uh, you know, bad in the stream chat, but no, someone's just because of their name has something that could very, very, very unspecifically be determined to be an insult towards me. They should not be banned just for that. So I do disagree with that moderation action and I have undone it. Okay. Wow. Feed me, see more, feed me, which apparently is some kind of a meme. You feed, feed me more, feed me, see more, feed me. Give me money, money. Tip me a dollar and said, I don't understand why you don't want to play games with bad reviews anymore. People love when you play bad games because you rip them so bad. Your view of the worst game you played got one million views. Some of your funniest let's plays are bad games. Yeah, and I don't review games anymore, right? And I don't care about YouTube views anymore because they don't matter and they don't really exist. And I don't have the money to buy bad games anymore. So it's just a completely different life situation. Yes, back when I used to be solely a YouTuber and I was focusing on YouTube videos, okay? And I had the funds to do it because I was making way more money. I was able to go ahead and buy every game under the sun. I was I was the guy. Who's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch? Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that got caught, Matt? Yes! Really? He was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children. I think he's I'm like 30. Watching his That's like in his 30s right or something. He's in his 30s and he did that in front of children. That's right. Yes. I, but I'm, I've on seen purpose. so much. I'm, I'm a fan. What? I don't know what to say. <laughs> who on release day would run out there and <clears throat> buy every game 
No matter what it was, if I heard of it or not, I would buy every new game, play it on release day, do a playthrough of it. If it was a shitty game, I would shit all over it. And if it was a good game, you know, I would obviously praise it. At that time, a lot of people would complain and said, Phil, you play too many games, you rush through games because you don't take time with the good ones because you're always rushing to the next one. You're playing these crappy games that no one wants to see you play. You should focus in solely on games that you think are interesting and fun so that way it's your more time well spent, right? So at that time, I said, okay, fair enough. Eventually, maybe we'll do that. And then over the years, I lost my focus on YouTube, didn't really care about it anymore as YouTube fell apart as a business and basically destroyed my YouTube business because they did. They, you know, through algorithms, through false copyright strikes, through all kinds of shit, my DSP gaming channel on YouTube basically was ruined. Um, so I had to focus on live streaming. And when I started focusing on live streaming, yeah, every once in a while I would still play a bad game. But for the most part, what I found is that there's two things that I have big success with with streaming. Number one, good games, i.e. games that I play and I enjoy, and you guys then, therefore, enjoy the interactive experience and positive experience we have on the streams because I'm having fun with them. Or number two, chill games, games that are ongoing experiences that aren't super serious, don't require a lot of, of effort or focus, but instead become streams where we can kind of uh, uh, just relax together and interact and talk with each other and have a good time via that way rather than, again, focusing on hyper-hard games and stuff like that. So those seem to be the two things that are very successful on streams, all right? Oh, money, 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 money. Money, money, money that I got to spend, spend, spend. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Oh, ooh, I got to eat it. got to eat it. Oh, ooh. So, that being said, yeah, if this was still 2013, and I was still making money hand over fist on YouTube, and people hadn't destroyed my YouTube channel, and I was focused on making YouTube videos that would go viral, yeah, I would play bad games and review them poorly, and I would make videos that would get a million views, and make me thousands of dollars, and things would be a lot different. But it's not 2013 anymore, you know what I mean? It's not. It's 2019, things are incredibly different, the world is a different place, the internet's a different place, um, it's not viable. For me to run out and buy every game and just play it anymore. Because people will get bored of it. People are like, man, if I don't like this game, why do you keep, why do you keep playing it? You know what I mean? Um, so it's just a different thing. It's different now, guys, you know? And you gotta accept change. You gotta move on. So I hear you, Feed Me Seymour. Wow, Phil, you used to be the guy who played every game. You played the bad games and made fun of them, ripped them into asshole. And yeah, and now I can't do that anymore, you know? If I had the freedom, the financial freedom to do that, I would. I don't. I can't drop hundreds of dollars a week on games that I'm gonna play twice and hate. And get nothing out of them. Okay. Man, this job sucks. It's a grind. I just do it for the money. I'm only in this for the money. Okay. Phil only does it because of, because of money. In this only for the money? Yes. But yeah, guys, you gotta understand, and I'm gonna say this, I say this all the time, I'll say it again. I used to say it about YouTubers. Now I'll say it about Twitch streamers. You have to be aware of who you're watching and who you're supporting. Alright? There's Twitch streamers out there. The reason that they do all these things is because they want a dollar. They want to make your money. They want to take your money and make a dollar off of you. They're not interested in actually putting out content that's worthwhile or content that has longevity or content that even in their eyes will entertain a viewer. All they're interested is this. And that's why they jump on these fads. You when you choose who you're gonna watch on Twitch or on YouTube or anywhere. You have to find someone who abides by the philosophies and beliefs that you also abide by. And if you see someone who's doing shit like that and you can tell they're doing it just to make a buck off of you, then why would you watch? Alright, why do you bite mommy? Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. All right. So you see what pigs can do. Cheers that you could experiment with games that are out of your comfort zone. For example, a MOBA or a competitive shooter. Like Counter-Strike Go or Rainbow Siege 6. It could prove to be quite profitable. I already have. Um, I've played Counter both Counter-Strike Go and Rainbow Six Siege when they were new games. And no one liked them. I'm good at lying. <laughs> You know, both games, in my opinion, Counter-Strike Go wasn't very good at launch. Um, it wasn't as good as original Counter-Strike. I actually like original Counter-Strike better than Counter-Strike Go. And Rainbow Six Siege was a fucking mess at launch. That game was a piece of duty. It was really freaking bad, man. Um, you know, both games became virally popular over time. And now, there's humongous competitive communities for them that I don't care about. I'm not going to sit here and invest hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay into these games 
for no promise on investment and also to bore my audience. My streaming audience is an audience that likes variety. They don't like the same thing over and over and over. And in, er in order to get good at a MOBA or a competitive shooter, you need to invest ridiculous amounts of time into them in order to get to a level where you can actually hang. It's actually exactly the same with uh, fighting games. You know, competitive fighting games. If you want to get good, you have to practice, you have to grind, you have to learn the right strategies. Any moment, I can pick up a controller and I can play any game at professional level. Yeah, I'm a gamer! It's not something you just sit down and jump right into and immediately, oh my god, you're successful. Um, it's the same thing. Even with, with a background in Street Fighter and everything, I don't care enough about modern fighters to sit here and turn my streaming existence into playing one or two games in order to get competitively good. I don't care about that. And I've even said this before, so the answer is no. I'm not going to do competitive stuff. It's a waste of time for me, anyway. Raw bacon sometimes does not taste that good. Depends on what kind of bacon you're eating. I didn't wash my hands. I touched raw bacon and didn't wash my hands afterwards. I didn't wash my hands at all. Atlas Telemont shoot again. He says, I miss KO gaming. You know, to some extent, I do too. I'll be honest with all of you. It was fun to sit down, and even though it took a lot of time and effort to edit those videos, do the voiceovers, etc., to put out a nice edited, polished video that had, you know, production value put into it, that people watched and enjoyed and said, wow, here's a nice, you know, a, a, a work that someone obviously, you know, put a lot of a time and effort into. Huh? I'm not Mr. Commercial. I'm not a guy who's here to put out overproduced content that was obviously created to make money. I'm just a guy here enjoying games and having fun on a daily basis. You know, I'm a simple guy. I'm a gamer. I'm not a techie. I'm not a fucking guy that knows all the ins and outs of this shit. You're like talking to a, a lay person. You're talking to a gamer. You're not talking to an editor. You're not talking to a PC, you know, builder. Huh? You know, keep in mind the fact that I've said numerous times that in the early 2000s to mid 2000s, I built gaming PCs for a hobby. I once had a LAN set up in my parents' house for games such as Unreal Tournament and Quake, and I loved doing it. So I know all about it, and I know how it works, right? I used to be in that group of people who I wanted to play everything on PC. Like, I, I used to be one of you. You're not talking to a techie guy. You're talking to a guy who just wants to sit down, press record, play a game, and have fun, right? I'll be real honest with everyone. Just making an edited YouTube video is very easy. Doing live improv reactionary commentary is tough. The hard shit is sitting here playing the raw games. That's the hard part. Streaming is way harder than just editing videos for YouTube. Okay, it is. Real talk. And this guy's a pathological liar. And to see people watch and enjoy those videos, some of those videos go viral and get a lot of views and end up being profitable for me, you know? I play video games for the gorgeous view. You know, some people, again, some people are all about the views because they're idiots. And that that's absolutely correct, Android. You're right that, that if someone is illegally restreaming my stream, those are my views. You're right, they are. That was really fun. For the year it lasted, KO Gaming was amazing. And again, just another thing that went by the wayside when YouTube fucked up their website and demonetized all the videos on that channel for no reason at all. The reason I stopped making edited content was because of that, because YouTube was demonetizing all of my videos for no reason. No valid reason at all. And then you would appeal it and say, why did you do this, YouTube? And they would say, oh, well, here's the criteria of why we demonetize stuff. And i say, yeah, my video is an edited review with no swearing and nothing bad in it at all. There's, it doesn't match any of those criteria. It's obvious your algorithms don't fucking work. Why are you doing this and what are you doing to fix it? And they would literally ignore you. And that's how they've been. They don't care. It's salty as fuck. It's like pure salt. All you could taste was salt. You couldn't taste anything else. Again, YouTube is a site they don't care. They have no fucking moral compass or soul. They pretend like they do again. Oh, social justice and herpaderp. But then they fucking ruin people's businesses and ruin people's lives and take no responsibility for it whatsoever because they're a bunch of fucking assholes. Well, I think I'm toxic now. Yep, I'm toxic. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. All right. So that's why I stopped caring. I The year that I did KO Gaming, if YouTube didn't fuck everything up, it might have been an amazing time for me because what I would have maybe started doing was splitting my time between editing videos on YouTube and streaming full time and kind of doing it half and half. And it would have been awesome because I could have kept doing live playthroughs but still had this other kind of a thing going on on the other side of it with edited content that got more popular and people would have liked. 
But YouTube demonetized all my videos, and then ad revenue plummeted on YouTube, so it was like the double whammy. It was like you had demonet rampant demonetization and then the YouTube adpocalypse at the same time. There was no way that I could have kept doing KO Gaming and kept it viable at all. It was their fault. 100% YouTube killed KO Gaming. All that whole year of time and effort I put into it was wasted because of them fucking over their, everyone and fucking their business up with lazy management and horrible business decisions. So, so all that being said, guys, that's pretty much it. By the way, some people have said, why am I getting so many viewers today? I have no idea. Earlier, we had our normal viewership, and then all of a sudden, it spiked. I don't know if this is view bots, someone coming in and view botting. I don't know if this is someone with trolls coming in. I have no idea what it is. So, just to forewarn everyone, no, no, we're not, we don't normally get 700 viewers before I even started playing a game. This makes no sense. It's obvious some weird shit is going on. Um, it is what it is, all right? In March, around mid-March, supposedly, it looks like I may be on a podcast. What? Whoa. Um, I don't really want to give any details until they're solidified, because they're not yet. But it looks like I am going to be on a podcast for the first time in quite some time. You know, I rarely am asked to be a guest on any kind of a show. And when I am, a lot of the times things don't work out. <clears throat> right now, <clears throat> it's looking like hopefully this one will. <clears throat> Alright, um, this is the early workings. I'll let you guys know when more details are hashed out. Probably another week or two, I'll have all the details fully locked in. So you know exactly what to expect and how it's going to go down. <clears throat> but what I'm hoping is that I could be... Uh, get some more exposure. This kind of shit needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. And then, of course, a thousand troll responses of negativity. He's greed. and Oh, it's Phil's greed. Oh, it's greed. Phil wants more. He always wants more. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. By being a guest on a podcast, and that'll help for when I actually do in, you know, mid to late March, whatever this event is that I, 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 I settle on. <laughs> That this event, um, will get a little bit more attention because I just was on a podcast and maybe I'll have some newcomers coming by or whatever, okay? Uh, like I said, I think this will be something positive. Uh, I haven't done anything like this in a very long time. So I'll give you guys more details once it's available, alright? Fair enough? I just want to th start to put the seeds in, into, the, <clears throat> into the ground. So that hopefully in a couple of weeks people are excited for that and want to have more, more information. And when I have it, people will be interested in hearing about it, okay? <coughs> Boy, I really wish this tickle in my throat would go away. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop choking. <clears throat> I seriously <coughs> cannot stop joking tonight. Oh my god. <coughs> ah. Ugh. Ugh. What the <coughs> fuck? Ugh. <clears throat> Hold up. <coughs> oh my god. It's going to clear up. It's going to clear up, I swear. <clears throat> what the fuck, dude? Oh, don't you hate it when you get a tickle in your throat that won't go away? Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to have to blow my nose in the whole shebang. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> okay, it's actually starting to feel better now. <clears throat> I absolutely hate it when you get that in your throat and it won't go away, right? Well, it finally, it's gone now. I'm not getting the tickle anymore. Now I gotta blow my nose. Oh, 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 oh. oh. This is nasty. Um, it's Tevin's fault. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh. Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP's a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.